welcome to the Bates Learning Center Open House. So for those of you who weren't able to make it tonight, we'd like you to check out the space. So this is the whiteboard where people that have been coming to the Learning Center have been able to create a little bit of art. And then here is where we are going to create the vision for success. So this vision is created having three facts in mind. The first one is that there is 100 plus people experiencing homelessness in Fredericton. The second one is that mental health and previous trauma are both major factors to homelessness. And the third one is that Phoenix, so this space, is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. But shelters are only open from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. So the vision that we have co-created is that in the next two years, all people in Fredericton will have a safe place to pass time during the day, where they experience a sense of belonging, purpose, and community, where they can explore and choose ways to contribute that suits their skills, needs, values, and passion. And so what we're asking for people to do is to please share what they like about this vision, what they dislike, questions they may have, and maybe suggestions for improvement. So. Hopefully you'll be able to contribute with this in an online way. Um, and next up we have Daniela who is going to walk us through the planned activities for this center. <laughs> hey guys, so obviously besides uh, wanting to provide a safe place for the people who experience homelessness, also our planned activities are like based on this individual's needs. Uh, we'll be a hub for different programs available in the city, such as GED schooling, housing help, wound care, transportation, addiction recovery, harm reduction. And uh, Riverstone Recovery also provides classes to, uh, to members in recovery, cooking, sports, budgeting, and peer support worker certificate. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact Scott. And also, if you guys want to share online via comments or anything, uh, of course, connection with the community is very important to us. So if you think of any ways you would want to get involved, don't hesitate to uh, reach out or come visit and Scott is always going to be here available. Uh, we, we're very aware that we're now um, part of your neighbourhood and it's really important uh, for everyone at the centre to feel safe. Um, and we've got some uh, policies already in place um, that hopefully will, will help people in the surrounding community feel safe. Um, while they get to know us, uh, we will have at least two staff um, on site at any time while we're open. Uh, we won't be permitting substance use on site. There, there will be a front soft smoking area um, outside, but that will be for cigarettes only. Uh, we will, staff will be doing hourly perimeter walks just to make sure everything's okay uh, in the surrounding area. And we'll be continuing to maintain uh, close ties with uh, the police, hospitals and other healthcare providers. And, um, and lastly, we, we're really keen to keep open lines of communication uh, with you. We have an open door policy. Um, feel free to come in any time, Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. Um, and you can all also uh, reach out via email to, to Scott. Um, and uh, yeah, any concerns, uh, we, we'd love to, to hear from you and, uh, and work together to address them. And so, yeah, the, the kind of question at this station is, is there anything else that we could do to, to help you and your family and neighbours feel safe. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you and welcome to Phoenix Learning Centre.